Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here in Sim Airport. In the last episode, as you will recall, I hope, we finished off sort of building the last extension to this current airport, which was the addition of this gate here. Now, when I set this gate up previously, I put it as a B gate uh, alongside these other gates here, being a large gate, which is accessed through the first floor, the upper deck. But then I, I, I came to thinking, well, actually, no, it's not. People actually wait here on the lower deck, the ground floor, um, and they get their tickets checked, their boarding passes checked here on the lower floor, and they only actually go up then to through the escalators to actually enter the aircraft. So fish, effectively, really, I still can't get my page up and page down confused. So effectively, really, it's it, passengers wait on the on the lower floor. So I've renamed it A4. And one thing I noticed, a little glitch that we saw the last episode, was that uh, when I first named this this gate B3, the B3 label was outside of the black box. But that's re re that's fixed itself, redressed itself. Is that the right word? I think so. It's restored to its correct position, uh, having saved and reloaded that save. Now there were a couple of things still missing uh, before we actually open this gate, officially open the gate, um, and. That was mostly to do with downstairs here, the baggage collection. I wanted to add a fifth baggage carousel to the system. The the four the four I've got at the moment handling the five gates quite well, but I'm just thinking, seeing as we're getting more flights coming in and more large flights coming in, we may need to actually extend that baggage. So just to make sure there's no hold-ups down there, no, no baggage hold-ups, we'll do that. Oh, and one other final little thing I noticed, just before I started this actually, I hadn't noticed this before actually, but then just ignored it, that we've got this awful red environment score, bad environment score around these doors. And I thought, why is that? And then you notice there's no flooring, it's just bare concrete. So what we're going to do here is I think take some actual proper flooring. Is that is that not flooring? That should be there you are. Sidewalk. Does it want to be sidewalk? Oh, can you not put a sidewalk inside? Because I suppose the effect of that is inside. I don't want it I don't want it to be carpet. That's the thing, really. Or should it be carpet? Oh say faffing around. Let, let's put carpet in there. Uh, there we go. And that one. Okay. Uh, the other bad environment score, as you might have just noticed as well, was here around the LRT station. Now, unfortunately, we can't put things, as far as I'm aware, actually on the LRT station itself. So if we go to objects, uh, decor, um, a nice... Uh, an outdoors only bush. Yeah, you, know, you see you can't place them there on the station itself. Lights. Um, no, if you can make it out, yeah, there's a red silhouette there, so we can't put it there either, which is rather annoying. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put them on the edge. Oh, you can't, oh, that's interesting. Okay, you can't get that close to the platform on this side, on the lower side, so we'll put that there. Um, decorative bushes. Or do we want the slightly more unkempt ones? Yeah, let's go slightly unkempt. Put those there and just see if they make that slightly better environment. I'm, again, I'm not quite sure how dramatic that change will be, if at all, but uh, well, we shall see. Okay, let's get this baggage thing sorted out. Now, if I'm going to put another baggage carousel here, um, actually I've already started this uh, building, so let's get rid of that, because we need to make room, and that, for uh, the two-way carousel, sorry, the two-way conveyor to come down without actually being in the same space or, or adjacent to the existing uh, conveyor. So we can uh, put that up there, up there, and that, that needs to then run along there, so it can't run along directly adjacent to it. Now the guys I think are actually still, you can hear the jackhammers going, are they still maintaining? Yeah, 
they're still maintaining that runway. That will take them a little while. But it's only one o'clock in the morning, so we have got a little bit of time to spare. Do I still have my full complement of 20 workmen? I do, so they should be able to do... Oh, they've already started. They've already done it. Right, grand job. Uh, in which case, what we want to do is if we're putting our new baggage carousel here... Okay, if we put that there, that then, yeah, that then puts in the foundation it needs underneath. So I've got some idea of where I want it to go. Uh, okay, let's get this conveyor sorted. We need to dismantle you. Okay. I can't complete that until until that conveyor's removed entirely. Not quite sure they, they're running. A, it's obviously quite some distance. They, have they not done that runway yet? I'm not quite sure why they'll be on here. Is that the only? That's the quickest route back, is it? That sounds very unlikely. What's all this Jack Hammering going on? <laughs> I'm not sure where they all are. Uh, right, okay, so we've got... Uh, ah, okay, so our decor there on the LRT is... is making small inroads into that bad zone there, to the red zone. It looks like the best we can do, I think. But it's obviously improved it on the... Uh, always there if I put the carpet down. Okay. Ah, right, so we can put our... Con let's stop this. Put that conveyor in there. Now this hub, we need to change that one to a producer. And that will take an ordinary conveyor up there and along there. We could actually put another descending or down transition in there. Is that the right way around? Yep, we'll put you down there. And we're going to need to build more foundation around here to complete the, uh, the conveyor transition. Is that going to be enough? Can I not? No, oh, cancel that. It's hidden behind that other dialogue box. Okay. So we want some more foundation. Uh, we might as well take it all the way there. And there. That's going to look a little bit odd, I think. <laughs> we, uh, when they do that, let's unpause it again. Let's uh, see what they're up to. Oh, we're going to need a Final bit of conveyor in there. Okay, it's four o'clock in the morning, so passengers are starting to turn up. There they are. Okay, but the uh, yeah, this this hub here is not for for outgoing baggage, so we don't have an issue just yet. But we will when the first plane arrives in an hour or two. I think my men are. Got it well under control. Okay, we're going to need to complete this. Uh, should we take that out as well there? Oh, we can't because it's... Uh, okay. Come on, guys. Let's get, get to it. Just going to get this uh, wrapped up. Okay, right, so we need to dismantle all this extraneous wall. Now oh, we can get rid of you as well, I think. And you. Why not? And you. Okay, so where does the conveyor need to go? Uh, was it ops or structures? 
Uh, it's here somewhere. Um, no, I've lost it. I know. <laughs> I wish you to know where it was. Um, I thought it was. I thought it was structures. Oh, it's utilities, you fool. Yes, there it is. Right. So you go out of there. We need to get rid of that bit of wall first. Okay, so you can there. Uh, actually, if we take you there, and then you go up there, and there, to there. I think we're then done, effectively. There's one little bit more thing we need to do here, uh, and that is, that needs to be in a baggage claim zone. So let's, uh, I need to go out to the options. And just check where there it is, where's the baggage? So that's the extent of the baggage claim zone. So if we just need to extend that uh, baggage claim, uh, we might as well fill that all the way up there. Okay. Job done. Go away. Go away. What, why is that? That's it. Right. And we do have a couple of missing phone charger stands, which we took out when we were putting this back in. Yep, two of those when we were redoing our baggage claim area here. So we'll put you back there. I think that's fine. Now, the, one of the interesting things here is that these vending machines make no money at all ever. Which is kind of curious. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they satiate their needs earlier, closer to the gates. Uh, or at the entrance, I, I, it's odd, I really don't quite know, unless they don't eat and drink in a baggage claim area. Actually, that's an interesting. What if I make that not a baggage claim zone? So if we take that, make that none. I, I don't know if that makes any difference at all to how accessible those machines are. Again, it's, it's, I don't know if there's a rule in the game which affects that. We, sh we shall see, perhaps. Okay, the new baggage carousel is working fine. And I think we're happy with that. Splendid. Okay, now, another little thing I wanted to do here, actually. Uh, I had marked this out previously I want to reset uh, or, or, or enhance slightly this departure area so at the moment people coming in to gate A4 have to go downstairs uh, to either exit the airport or connect to another gate um, and if they want to connect to a gate uh, on the on this B side on the upper deck which is where they come in they actually have to go downstairs first then back up these stairs here and I thought it might why don't you just give them a simple access directly to the B gate? We can do that with one way pass so we can control it. Um, so I think that's what we will do here. So let's uh, set that up. Uh, more foundation. Uh, why, why, why do you do that? You sort of go halfway through and then stop. Right, so we want foundation there. It's a pity I can't do it like that. I can do it like that. And it'll also build to the extent of the ground floor building that we've already got. But I don't want that much space here. Um, I want it to be just a narrow channel, basically. So yeah, we'll take that, we'll do that. And what I think I'll do actually as well to make this channel slightly wider is move this wall in here. So we have got this gap here, which we don't really need. So we will get rid of that. Okay, now let's have a look. Uh, have we? We have now finished research on standby gates. So what I want to do is add in a couple more flights, and also see if we can make this the standby gate. Uh, and this is the first time. Well, it's not the first time I've done it. It's the first time we've done it in this recording. I played around with it a bit after the last episode, just so I had some idea of how the thing worked. So. Uh, we've got flight management. We have now got a new gate A4 here, which is a large gate, so we could put large flights in there. But what I want to do is, if we stack in more flights, there's more risk of um, flights coming in when the gate isn't quite ready yet. 
uh, because the earlier flight is taking longer to board or there's delay taking off because it's queuing up to get out because I've only got two runways so um, we need to, we need to uh, have a space now where flights are coming in and find that their gate is currently occupied still when they come into land so they'll then be diverted to a standby gate so that's what we're doing here so we'll do this I think during the sort of peak hours of the day so we now have access to the edit mode flights standby gates so we're going to use gate A4 and all we need to do here is if I take it from uh, where should we take it from let's about just left click and drag to say this period is going to be when that gate is used for standby so we will use it there I think and it, I could put in if I wanted to more than one standby area or standby period uh, so if I got a lot of early morning flights or something coming in and I know there's, there's problems getting them all boarded and departed in good time I could create sort of standby periods as and when I need them uh, but I don't want that one there yet so just right click and remove or clear the entire row which I don't want to do because I'm quite happy with that peak time standby setting so we'll remove you okay so let's have a look can we get some more flights in here I think we've got 33 at the moment so uh, a large gate who can I have to go to my large gate a Ford Air yeah we haven't got too great a reputation with you at the moment um, actually I'll put, put, I'm not, that was unusual it doesn't usually come over that <laughs> on that side. I'm not quite sure why it did um, and because I'm not used to seeing it there I'm gonna have to move it to where I'm familiar with it being um, okay my fuel price is perhaps a little bit expensive for them I'm not too worried about that I'm making lots of money from fuel anyway um, trust isn't great as yet uh, I don't think have I got any I don't have any reps no attached to a Ford Air yet so that might be why the trust is down although communication is okay interesting okay um, so what have we got seven six sevens right you're good you're big I think aren't you seven six seven, 250 passengers yes in the AM yes let's accept you okay where can we put you we could slip you in there but there is no space for you so let's have you coming in to our early gate yeah, so into the early period in our on our new gate uh, 250s we generally want I think two and a half hours oh I was that's it so I picked it up in the wrong place didn't I it's a click at the very end and then you can pull it and make that 230 two and a half hours okay that looks fine so that one should have been got been and gone quite some time well before the uh, the standby might be needed uh, okay do we want a PM what's the 707 that's 180 we could slip you in there perhaps though that is running close to the end of the day and I know my staff do all clock off at midnight um, and we do sometimes run a little bit close to that so I don't want to run that risk on there uh, no no we won't uh, so uh, Belgium the trouble is the Belgians don't have any more large flights well they have oh no they do they have an AM here excellent so we could put you in on gate B2 oh go on then right so you go down to B2 again I need to make you two and a half hours that should be sufficient um, okay I think we should be all right for that okay let's see how that flies as it were well we won't see that until tomorrow uh, how's our profit stacking up today oh 
quite nicely. Thank you very much. Do we? We've got our vehicles in there. They're all ready. Um, you are assigned to the baggage carousel system. We've got ticket gates and everything. This is all looking splendid. Oh, the other thing we need to do as well is when we get this in use, we need to cover it with janitors. So should we do that now while we're doing all the setup stuff? So janitors. Uh, okay, we need to be on janitor patrols. And it's deck zero. Deck zero, thank you. Yeah, so this whole new area is currently uncleaned. Hopefully it's not unclean as yet. Uh, let's... Yeah, we have got that pause. It's just the jackhammers keep going, <laughs> even though they're not actually doing anything. Um, we could... No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this existing route, I think. Right, so what I'll do is I will just skip through this and then we'll come back, because this is a little bit tedious and time consuming. <laughs> we'll come back when I've got all these points sorted out uh, and you can see the new janitor route uh, when I've done that. So I'll be back with you in the quick flash of a video effect. Okay, so there we are. I've actually taken the route up to the maximum of 15 patrol points. Um, some are quite small. Um, just because I, I, I didn't want to have them go. I'm not quite sure what happens if uh, at point 12 here, for example, it covers this, if I can zoom in a bit, so it covers this area around the stairs and the exit from the uh, from the arrivals uh, of from, from planes, the, the <laughs> that area here, it covers that, um, but it also covers the other side of the wall into the shop area here, in, into the retail area. So I'm not quite sure if he's wandering around here, he's get to point 12, and some dirt, some deposit of garbage in this area here, whether he would actually then nip across around there to pick that up and go off to deposit in the garbage, uh, the dumpster zone, uh, for collection, or whether he does, will, whether he will actually stay this side of the wall. I'm not sure. So I made some of these a little bit smaller, just to sort of hope better define the areas. Now, because this is quite a long route, uh, I think we are going to need um, another janitor on here. So we're going to make that two people running this. Um, now, again, this is a slight confusion of the janitor system, I, I think. As I've said, I want two janitors here, but um, it doesn't say what shift they're on. That's dealt with separately here on the Manage Staff option here for janitors. And it says I need... Uh, why has it got nine? I'm not quite sure. The numbers... I have a suspicion it ups these numbers somehow randomly when you edit the patrols. Because as it says here, the patrol staff needed is six, which is correct. I've got five routes, uh, upper and lower deck, uh, and the longest route, which we've just looked at, uh, has I've assigned two people to run. So that makes six in all. But for some reason, it's come up with nine here. So what we're saying here, I don't need four, um, is for certain times of the day, uh, like daytime, I'll want six members of staff. At the peak periods, again, I'll want just the six members of staff. No, six, that's right. Um, night time, we won't have any early. We will just have... Actually, have I got four or five routes? I think I've got, I've got five routes. One, two, uh, deck one. Yeah, I have got five routes. So I really ought to have five people here as a minimum, I think. Yeah, I, the, the early shift is quite short, so having them come in early, even if they're not doing much apart from wandering around, that should be fine. Okay, so uh, I need one more member of staff. Okay, and that's six. Yeah, it's, as I say, it's, it's slightly clunky, and it takes a little while to get your head around it, but it does it does work. Okay, so I think we're all ready. Um, oh, we need uh, garbage. We need somewhere for people to put their their rubbish on their route out of the airport. So if we put... Uh, actually, let's put some garbage there. 
How's the decor looking? Decor's looking fine, apart from that there. Um, we'll put some more. No, you can't. We'll put that there. And there. And perhaps one there as well. Uh, let's get some more decor down here as well. Just to spruce up those little dark spots. Let's make it a whole lot more exciting, or more pleasant to go through these exit channels. What we could do as well, I think, is look at info. Because if you're going to connect, uh, go going to find a connecting flight, you will want to know where it is as early as you can in your journey through the airport. So if we put these actually, yeah, we'll around here. I think. Yes, yeah, so we'll put one there as well. That's good, I think. So if you're coming down from the new gate, uh, you'll find a both pleasantly decorated uh, channel and also lots of information. How's our upstairs doing? All oh, right, okay, so we've got this sorted out here. Let's uh, put some more wall in. There, I think. Yeah. Uh, let's get rid of the planning colour. So I can more easily see what we've got. There we go. And we don't want that bit of wall. Okay, we'll build. Once this wall's built, we can then. Uh, we, we, we can then open up this channel for use. That's fine. We, might, we could do some plants here as well, couldn't we? Yeah, nice little plants there. And perhaps there too. It's the, the windows give it lots of lovely... Ooh, red. Ah, it's those bits of concrete, you see. On the sliding doors. Do I have any other doors which have this same problem? No, I think I've obviously spotted that elsewhere. Okay, that's fine. Oh, one other little thing, which I don't think I did as part of the recording, is I opened up a little corridor here for the staff to go between the delivery, so the storage and the maintenance rooms, um, to get out into the main body of the airport. So let's actually make that corridor official, shall we? Let's put some walls up. A bit like that. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this, with this space at all, to be honest. But um, you know, it's it's there. Should we get rid of this? Um, don't want to go there. I want to get rid of the uh, the zone shading. There we go. Let's put that there and there. Good. We've got their own little staff corridor. And up here, this is looking good, so we'll get some carpet. There, like that. We will dismantle. Nope, dismantle. No, don't want carpet, I want to hit the dismantle kit. Dis click, there you go. Dismantle that there. And once we've got the carpet down, we'll open this channel up, put down some one way signs, and. Uh, we should be ready for tomorrow when uh, when the new flights start arriving. Okay, so it's quarter past four in the afternoon. Profit is looking very healthy indeed. So can we pay back a bit more of our loan? I think we probably can. 75 grand back? Right, that's that's uh, quite a lot. I think we're okay with... Oh, hang on. That's a standby. He's using it for standby. Oh my goodness. Right. Um, what's that? 1859. So what gate would you have normally gone to? Now the interesting thing here is, is when a flight... Oh, they're actually using... Oh, it works. <laughs> Love it. All we need is to make sure all oh, there are passengers queuing up to board. Ah, oh, cool. Right. Anyway, so yeah, it's saying here this flight is coming into gate A4, which is absolutely correct. But you don't know at this point 
um, that it is um, that it's moved. Now the gate does also say. Oh, it says. Oh, that's right. It says that, as you can see, that at the bottom. Um, I can't move my cursor because the cursor, <laughs> the cursor moves the dialog box or the tooltip rather. On standby till 8:45 p.m. So it tells you that this gate is being used for standby. There, which is very handy. So what we're we looking at? Uh, flight 1859 would normally. Uh, what time is it? Four o'clock ish. 18:59. Which flight is that? Oh, there it is. That's it. it would normally come in on gate A2. But presumably there's some issue with uh, the previous flight, 5148. So if we look at our status, uh, where are we? 5148. It departed at 2... actual, sorry, departed at 419. And this flight arrived at gate 421. So yeah, because flights don't arrive on time, they will arrive as soon as they can. So they often arrive earlier than their scheduled uh, arrival time. And, and flights obviously can depart earlier or later than their scheduled departure. So that is good. So we're seeing our standby gate used already. Excellent. Now hopefully I've got enough information stands set up around the airport to let people in. Oh no! <laughs> no I've realised I don't have any gate agents. Oh darn it. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be in use quite so until tomorrow. Oh bother. Right we're in daytime so let's get gate agents here. This flight's going to be delayed. I'm not going to get my perfect ops bonus today. Oh that's um, frustrating isn't it? <laughs> uh, peak, yeah, one, one, and one. Uh, early, we don't need anybody. Night time, we don't need anybody. Oh, that is so annoying. Right, you've got over an hour. Will the staff get here in time? All these people jostling. We wanted to wait in a queue for the gate agent to take our boarding passes, but there's nobody here. Oh, you, you can imagine the, the fretting. Ooh. Oh dear, and they're so f fretful, they're actually leaving rubbish. Is that, where's, where's, the janitor's come to pick it up? Yes. Oh, that's all right then. Oh, excellent. So we've got one gate agent for the coach class people. They're getting on. So 106 people need to be processed very quickly. Where's the other agents? Where are the other agents? Come on. I know I employed you very late, but that's no excuse. Oh no! Right, first class. Any first class passengers? Apparently not. Oh, there is one. Right, they're all there. This is going to be touch and go. No, I don't think we're going to do it. Can we get 30 people in? In 20 minutes? No, probably. They've got to get up those stairs. The system works, so it's fine. But it's just two minutes. No. No, we're going to be a few minutes late. Ah, that was so close to working perfectly. <laughs> and, uh, right, uh, as I said before, the, 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 the game works really nicely, really quite sweetly, and I don't like that. There. Uh, and everything sort of works. It's, it's easy to do stuff, but there's quite a few things you need to make sure you've got in place to start with um, before it works perfectly. So... <sighs> Darn. <laughs> okay, we're, I'm going to extend this, this wall here. Bring that in, I think. Should work. Uh, no, that's fine, actually. Because let's get the check. Mm. We'll see how it looks. We'll see how it looks. Okay, so get that display board out of the way. And we can put some walls in. So if we have that, yeah, I think that works. I think that'll work. So then we'll open this, what is a window at the moment, and turn that into the exit. So while we're talking about windows, let's get one in there. 
couple there, couple there, a nice big long display window there, one there. Cool. Ah. That that was. <laughs> I'm going to be kicking myself for quite some time for making that silly, silly error. We'll put the display board back there. Right. Coming to the end of the well, we'll say near, well, towards the end of the day, nine, nearly nine o'clock. We're still making loads of money. That's fine. How's our baggage doing? Yep, everything looks. Uh, no, still nobody is vending our machines. That's sad. Okay, let's uh, finish off this this bit here. Yeah. And we'll take you out, and we'll take you out, and we'll put some one-way paths in. Put you in there, and we'll put these actually where the walls were, in there. I think that'll work. A little bit more carpeting. There we go. Two, three. Put some carpet and some carpet. There we go. That's that job done. Uh, okay, just that one flight. So the flights will be turning up tomorrow. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, I will fast forward this until tomorrow. And we'll come back and have a, just a quick look at how it's working uh, officially, as it were. We should have a flight lined up for that gate. Yeah, reasonably early in the morning. Yeah, all the gates will be busy. It's going to be tough. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how the airport copes. And then we will uh, finish the episode off from there. So, right, I'll be right back with you again after a little bit of a flash of a cute video effect. Okay, so here we are, brand new day. Uh, before we actually get started on that, uh, a quick check of yesterday's uh, figures. Uh, as expected... Oh! Uh, oh, I didn't expect that, actually. <laughs> we, we actually got a bonus. Perfect ops. Oh, well. Um, yeah, ah, no, oh, right. No, I really wasn't expecting that. I'm, I'm slightly confuddled now. Uh, so, yesterday... Obviously, yeah, that, that flight we saw left a little bit late. Uh, yeah, 15 minutes late. But everyone was boarded. So that's the key thing. I think, if, I, there, I'm sure there is. If you are so many minutes late, more than so many minutes late, you will get a penalty. Um, but the fact that everyone boarded. Oh, wow. I, I'm impressed. Sorry, I, I wasn't expecting that. Um, but uh, our profit and loss... Uh, from yesterday. Yeah, a nice tidy profit of nearly 70 grand despite paying back 75 grand of our loan, which is very impressive. Um, and the interesting thing here is, uh, I've come back to this occasionally, is I think because I made losses or I've um, spent so much money, my revenue adjustment here um, has gone into the negative. I'm sure that is just briefly. So I'm actually losing. So my airport value now, because I've lost that amount of money, is now less than six grand. When we started uh, in yesterday's, uh, we were over six six million, not not, not five grand. It was over six million uh, when we started this episode. Uh, the credit report. That's my credit history. I'm, not, I'm sure that's not as good as it was before. But uh, credit score is fine. We're not taking out loans at the moment anyway. So what have we got? Uh, let's get this running up uh, a bit more to speed. We have gate agents in place. There they are. Excellent. Good to see them. <laughs> okay. uh, the airport does appear to be clean. Um, we don't need as many workers actually anymore. Uh, we've done. We've finished, I think, with the big construction products pro project. 
So we'll just take that back down to 15, which is plenty. Wow. Loads of people. I haven't actually increased my uh, ticketing or my security areas for quite some time. But we are increasing, whoa, huge numbers of people. Wow. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so we haven't increased those in, in some time. Although we are getting a lot more people coming through with the larger aircraft. And it's coping quite well. It really is. Which is always good to see. Baggage claim area. Got two carousels in use. It's going to be three. It's going to be four. This is good. I love it when the system works. And still nobody is buying food or drink from these vending machines. I'm going to leave them there because aesthetically they amuse me. But that, that's about it. Excellent. So all these carousels are in use, if not all at the same time. And I assume this channel was being used. I didn't spot it, to be honest. But there we are. So that's it, I think, uh, for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, we will, I think, have one more little episode in this series, uh, for this airport, and then we will start constructing a brand new si system, a bra brand new airport. I didn't want to say airport again because I've said it once already. So <laughs> but that's just me. We'll, we'll finish this site off in the next episode. Uh, and then we'll start brand new airport um, hopefully based roughly as best I can on a real life airport somewhere here in the UK uh, we'll try and do that um, but for now thank you so much for joining me today hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have a little bit of a like we very much appreciate it just click on that thumbs up you know how it works um, or if you prefer if you've got anything to say suggestions recommendations even criticisms drop a note into the comments box below that would be very much appreciated. Herds of people. <laughs> and of course, if you've not already subscribed, uh, you can do that now. Just click on that button and then you'll be notified when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post here in Sim Airport, until the next time, bye bye for now.